Hey everyone, it's Miss Working Progress. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already guessed, I am super, 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 super excited to be doing this video today. And the reason being is because it is my eight weeks anniversary. Eight weeks of eating clean, eight weeks of eating healthy, eight weeks of being on this keto weight loss journey. So I'm literally gonna spill the tea right now. Literally. In eight weeks, I lost 21.4 pounds. 21.4 pounds in eight weeks. And I did this, I did this by eating. Like literally, I did this by eating. I wasn't starving myself. I wasn't overexerting myself. I am a mother. I am a student. I am super busy. I don't have time for those migraines and those headaches. And like, I'm so excited to tell you guys because you can eat healthy. You can eat some really delicious food and still lose weight. The thing is, losing weight, it's hard. But if you can find a diet that, you know, works for you where you're not feeling like you're hungry, like you're, you know, being deprived and stuff, like, I feel like, and that's how I feel right now, like in me doing this keto of sorts diet, and by of sorts, I mean that like, if I am hungry, I eat, and I still manage to lose 21.4 pounds in um eight weeks then i think anybody can lose weight like if you're there sitting down you're thinking oh my god i want to lose weight you know how am i gonna do this this is how you can do it i am literally telling you like i lost weight by eating by eating and obviously by exercising because that's very important as well but the point that i'm trying to make is that i wasn't going like super crazy with the exercising like i'm still 228 pounds now 28.4 228.4 pounds now given that i started at 249 like i wasn't trying to like you know over exert myself with the exercise i'm not trying to go overboard because my body like it won't let me do that as yet so how did i do it how did i lose 21.4 pounds by eating how did i do it well i'm gonna tell you right now First off, by drinking water. I make sure that I'm drinking water. I'm not drinking like any pop or juice and I don't really miss it. Like I am here like making this video and I am making sure that I get this 40 ounces of water done by the time that I finish this video. So drink your water. For maybe the first four weeks, I wasn't drinking water, but then I realized that, okay, water can change your life. It literally can change your weight loss journey. And especially if you have like the belly that you wanna, you know, kind of lose some fat around like me, Drinking water will definitely help that. So one, drinking my water. Two, I don't need carbs. Yeah, I know you're like, who do you think you are? Like, you don't need carbs? Like, what, what, what? Carbs isn't everything. Like, I know it's in everything. But realistically speaking, I don't miss it. And I think, well, I know. I know the reason why I don't miss it is because I am on my uh, keto diet. And with me filling up on, like, a lot of healthy fats and protein, I don't miss it. Like, I don't have time to miss the carb because the food that I'm eating, it's literally so good. When it comes to food on my diet, I like to keep it nutritious, delicious, easy, and affordable. Okay, so to break it down and to keep it like really simple for you guys, or just for me, because I, I have been keeping it simple, um, for protein, I would have bacon, eggs, chicken, tuna, or sausage. And I don't eat all of that. I would basically alternate um, between that. For fruits and veggies, I would have bell pepper, berries, spinach, uh, cherry tomatoes, onions, and broccoli. And lastly, for my healthy fats, I would have olive oil, which is really important for me because I literally only cook with olive oil. Um, I would also have avocado, sour cream, cheese, and almond. So that is pretty much my grocery list. Like I keep it very, very, very simple. Um, but I make sure that what I'm buying, it's the foods that I love. So if you find that this will work for you, then you can definitely go just take notes and buy these things. But I guess the key is to make sure that when you are, you know, if you choose to do a keto diet or if you choose to be healthy, to 
play around with the kind of foods that you enjoy eating because these are the foods that I like to eat and it's been working for me and you know also I don't get bored because these are some of the foods that I can actually um, that I actually been making so if you do check out my um, Instagram page you'll see like everything what I have for breakfast lunch and dinner and everything that you literally see on that page it's with everything that I just listed that I like ingredients wise that's what I put in it um, and again these foods that you're seeing right now they they were easy to prepare um, they were delicious um, I was satisfied I was full and if you can't cook like me don't worry it's fine it is literally fine like I like to say I can't cook but like I mean I cooked all of this food and it you know like it's good so do comment below and let me know um, if you want to see a video where I cook where I literally cook maybe like one, two, or three of these dishes um, for those of you who um, might want to see how it's done. So the reason why maybe like, you know, doing a video would be like a good idea to like cook everything and show you guys is because I know um, it might be a little bit like confusing to figure out what to eat. Um, and I feel like, you know, the meals that I eat, they're very simple and I'm losing weight with them. And also because I want you guys on this journey with me. It's lonely. <laughs> like I wanted the way I'm feeling right now, like I'm feeling so good about myself, like just by being like eight weeks on this journey like I want you to feel good too so if you want to see like a video of you know what I'm eating definitely like comment below and I'll definitely um you know make a video on that so lastly guys I have to touch on the exercise and part what have I been doing okay so I have been going for walks it has been so beautiful um outside lately with my son I would go for like an hour-long walk um, that's one and occasionally I would uh, go on my elliptical for uh, 30 minutes to 45 minutes um, and lastly I do my Chloe thing workout um, I usually do the the two-week shred and I'm currently doing the ab uh, workout because I want to get some apps <laughs> But that's pretty much what I do. And the reason why I don't just stick primarily to my elliptical is because, again, I don't want to get bored in this journey and I do want to change it up a little bit. I don't want my body, um, you know, to get used to doing the exact same thing over and over and over again. So about like my overall experience um, for the past eight weeks, like, you know, how did I feel? You know, was it hard to like stay committed? And I wish, I really wish I could tell you guys like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. It was so, so hard. Like I almost died and you know, guys, I had carbs, but I didn't. Like I, I didn't. I like, I don't know, like I feel like it's almost too good to be true but then I don't know maybe it's just the motivation that I get from you know having all of you guys motivated me but like I mean I it was good it was a good two weeks like if I was hungry I felt like I was hungry as I said I would like eat but when I you know would eat I wouldn't go eat a bag of chips or something I would make sure that it's something that's healthy something that's you know in um that's like keto like that's like keto friendly um and also so like I was just like super kind to myself like I wish I could tell you guys that it was terrible but it wasn't it wasn't and as I said if you guys want to join this journey like with me check out my Instagram page I post all the foods and I'm super open about the workouts that I do but like it was it wasn't a terrible experience for the past um, you know eight weeks and I feel like this is great because I'm on this for the long haul I am literally doing this for a year like even if I reach my goal weight before the year I'm still gonna be doing in this for like a year this weight loss journey um so it's important for me to be able to sustain this diet right so like i'm just grateful that the the eight weeks wasn't traumatizing like you know i wasn't getting headaches like i wish i could like i don't know i almost feel a little guilty for not telling you guys that i was so hungry i screwed up but like not to like be like okay i'm never gonna screw up because i'm probably gonna screw up eventually but i guess the important thing is to get back on that horse and get back on like the journey but overall like i felt like really satisfied with this diet and i feel like that's the important thing about diets if you feel satisfied you you won't like deviate from the diet so like i mean again like check out my instagram page the foods that i make they're very satisfying and um they're healthy and nutritious and delicious so that's it that is that is 
that was my eight weeks you know um i hope you guys found this video to be super helpful i hope you guys were able to get some tips and tricks as well as some meals ideas you know out of this video to be able to eat healthy and to start or continue your weight loss journey so again it's miss work in progress thank you so much everyone for tuning in again thank you to my subscribers thank you so much for motivating me my goal is to motivate and inspire you so if you do have any comments please comment below um and if you haven't subscribed please support this video support this journey and hit that subscribe button below for more weight loss content and follow me on instagram i post all the foods that i eat and it is super 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 free